The Napoleonic Wars of the early 19th century gave the Scots a chance to prove themselves closer to home. First in the Peninsular Wars in Spain and Portugal, and then in 1815 at Waterloo. There, it was the action of one man, Ensign Charles Ewart of the Royal Scots Greys, who captured the British imagination with an audacious cavalry charge. While thousands of Scots were commemorated with monuments and memorials across France and in their native Scotland, Ensign Ewart received the ultimate accolade, a grave on the castle esplanade and a themed pub. That summer day in 1815, Ewart rode into the heart of the French ranks to seize the ceremonial eagle of the French 45th Regiment, which from then on was to become the ceremonial emblem of the Royal Scots Greys. It was a spectacular piece of military theatre, and Ewart was celebrated across the country. Almost 70 years had passed since Culloden. The notion of the Scottish soldier as an insidious threat was slowly being replaced by an image of courage and loyalty to the British Crown and the British Empire. <laughs> 